Hello friends. Welcome to this video on graph of linear equations in two variables. So far, we have obtained the solutions of equations by the algebraic method. In this session, we will learn how to find the solution of a linear equation in two variables by the geometric method as well as to represent them in the graph paper. Let's understand what is geometric method. When we represent an equation on a graph, it is said to be represented in the geometric form and the method of finding solution from the graph is called the geometric method. So, let us see how to construct the graph of a linear equation in two variables. First, let us take a linear equation with two variables such as x plus y is equal to 5. Now, we will create a table like this where we will take different values for x and y. By replacing x with 0, we will get y is equal to 5. By replacing x with 1, we will get y is equal to 4. By replacing x with 2, we will get y is equal to 3. And we will write them in brackets as coordinate points like this. 0, 5, 1, 4, 2, 3. Friends, we can identify countless coordinate points like this, not just 3. But on a graph paper, Two points are enough to represent a line on the x-y axis. Let us draw x and y axis on a graph paper. Mark the units carefully on both the axes. Generally, we take 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. These units can also be increased or decreased according to the points. We can take 1 cm is equal to 2 units or 1 cm is equal to 3 units, etc. Let's plot these three points. The point 0, 5 is plotted here. The point 1, 4 is plotted here. You can also show the point by drawing a perpendicular from point 1 on the x-axis and a straight line from point 4 on the y-axis. And the last point 2, 3 will be here. Now, we will draw a line connecting these three points. This way, we represent a linear equation with two variables on a graph paper. Let's see another example. Represent the given equation on the graph y is equal to 2x. First, let's find the coordinate points. We got the points 0, 0, 1, 2 and 2, 4. Let's represent them now on a graph. First, we will draw the x and y axis and mark the correct units. Now, we will plot the points. And draw a line connecting these points. Now, when we compare these two graphs that we have made, we can see two types of lines. One of them does not pass through the center, whereas the other one passes through the center. The general form of a linear equation with two variables is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. In this general form, if c is equal to 0, then the line will pass through the center. That is, it will be the normal form of a line passing through the center. You can make a graph for these equations and check whether these lines pass through the center or not. Friends, can you tell me what is a line? Or what is a line made of? Or how it is made? Think about it for some time. Can we say a line is formed by a series of infinite points? Yes, that means if a line is a set of infinite points, that is, if we consider the graph, then every point in it will be the coordinate point of the x and y axis. This is what we call the solution of the equation. That means, every point on this line is the solution of this equation, which we can get by putting perpendiculars on the x and y axis. The three points that we considered earlier and constructed this line are the solution of this equation. Apart from this, there are infinite solutions to this equation. No other points outside this line are the solution to this equation. Friends, answer this question before we end this session. 
how many lines can be drawn through one point and through two points only one line passes through two or more points but infinite lines can be drawn through one point so my dear friends that's all in this video today we have learned how to find the solution of a linear equation in two variables through the geometric method as well as how to represent them on a graph in the next video we will solve some questions based on this topic thank you